How do weather and climate affect our lives? Our focus question is, why measure the weather? Our focus question is, why measure the weather? Lesson number one, weather instruments. Take this time to think, what types of weather do you already know about? See if you can come up with at least five. Copy the link into the search bar above and watch the five short weather videos and try to figure out what type of weather you observe. What types of weather did you observe in the previous videos? Take time to think and reflect on what they are called. Did you come up with hurricane, thunder, lightning, snow, clear skies, or dark clouds? Great! Then you're on the right track. Scientists, called meteorologists, can measure the weather using special tools. We will explore those tools together in the next few slides. First, take a blank sheet of paper and fold it into fourths. Number each box 1, 2, 3, and 4, and in each box write the name of the instrument, what it measures, and how do you predict that it will work. Your paper may look something like this once you have it prepared. Look at picture number one. Try to determine what is its name, what type of weather does it measure, how does it work, then record your predictions in box number one. Look at picture number two. Try to determine what is its name, what type of weather does it measure, how does it work, and then record your predictions in box number two. Look at picture number three. Try to determine what is its name, what type of weather does it measure, how does it work, and record your predictions in box number three. Look at picture number four. Try to determine what is its name, what type of weather does it measure, how does it work, then record your predictions in box number four. If you need more time to think or write, pause the video or replay it. Ready for some answers? Picture number one is called a thermometer. It measures the temperature, hot or cold, in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, and it works by the warmer it gets, the higher the red line will rise on the thermometer. Picture number two is called an anemometer. It measures the wind speed or how fast it blows, and it measures it in meters per second. The scoops get pushed by the wind, depending on how fast it rotates, that determines how fast the wind is blowing. Picture number three is called a rain gauge. It measures how much precipitation has fallen, usually measured in inches. It works by having precipitation fall into it, and as it fills up, you can measure the amount that has fallen. Picture number four is called a wind vane. It measures the direction of the wind, either north, south, east, or west. The wind blows and the arrow will point into the direction that the wind is coming from. In our next lesson, we will use these tools to practice measuring weather.